I'm going to show you what I've learned recently about testing TDS or the total dissolved solids in your soil. So I've wandered around the patch and I've taken about a spoonful from several different locations. Dig down just a couple inches. You want to get up between your secondary vines if you can, being real careful not to disturb any roots, but take it from various spots all around the patch. I've got it about this much in a solo cup here filled up. It gets some distilled water. And you're going to add it about 50-50 mix, one to one or 60-40 I've also heard. We're gonna let that soil mix in with the distilled water. It's gotta be distilled because you don't want your TDS levels being thrown off by water you're using to test what's in your soil. So once this sits, then we'll come back and I'll show you what we're gonna do to it. Okay, so it's been about 30 minutes. Some people say you should probably let this sit for 24 hours. Others that I talk to say 10-15 minutes is plenty. Got my nice brown sludgy mix here. Anyway, so now we need to strain it. One method we've learned right here is coffee filter. Get that on another cup here and start kind of pouring. Get some of that good stuff out of there because we don't want any of the big particles getting in the way of our TDS meter. While this is filtering, in this right here, a very cheap TDS meter from Amazon that you can purchase. I think it was like 10 bucks or something. This one is by Keto Tech. <laughs> this is obviously not working. So once it is strained, you get your TDS meter here, turn it on. You need to make sure that it's merged enough so that you've got connectivity between both the little metal readers in there. Just dip it on in. Now we are extremely low. We are at 136 parts per million, which is really low for what you want it to be at. We actually want it to be in the five, six, seven hundred range. Essentially between five and eight hundred is kind of a sweet spot. And so what we're gonna do is if we're really low, then we add the fertilizers uh, that we need to bring it up. And what we can do is do the same test to the fertilizer solution that we are spraying on to our plant to know that it's higher than where we're at. We don't want too much. We don't want to burn the plant. We don't want nitrogen bloat. Uh, you got to be careful about a couple things when you're adding too much, but we want that what we're putting on the plant to be about 550. And that way over a week or two time, it'll slowly bring the TDS levels in the soil up to where they need to be.